If you didn't hear this yesterday, a uh, very tense uh, period of time, a 34-year-old man arrested after driving a pickup truck through a U.S. Coast Guard station gate in Grand Haven. That came after he had issued a bomb threat. Police dispatchers received a call about 6 yesterday morning, we're told, from a man claiming he had a bomb and was going to blow up the station in Grand Haven. That's about, of course, 30 miles northwest of Grand Rapids, usually a place that you like to go for the the Coast Guard Festival and so forth if you don't already live there because um, just a great place to go. On the phone with us this morning is Jeff Hawk, the director of the Grand Haven Department of Public Safety. Uh, uh, sir, good morning. Good morning, Steve. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you for taking the time to be with us this morning. Obviously, um, this caught national attention, national news, and uh, and quite a stir, to say the least. Uh, run us through the uh, the timeline, if you will, first of all. Sure. Steve, the whole thing started at about 6.07 a.m. yesterday morning. Uh, Ottawa County Central Dispatch, the 911 center here, received a call from a man that said he had a bomb in his truck and he was driving it into the Coast Guard station in Grand Haven. Uh, we're assuming, the obviously, the man was the suspect that was later arrested. That he was the caller, although we haven't uh, confirmed by tracking back the phone numbers yet, but we're, that's what we're assuming. And... Uh, when our officers arrived down there a couple minutes later, they found the gate uh, off, the, off the fence in the parking lot, and the individual's truck was parked between the Coast Guard Station and the Grand River on the back side of the Coast Guard Station. Mm-hmm. Suspect um, broke a window, uh, opened a door, and entered the station. And shortly after that, he was subdued by Coast Guard personnel. So, the, so the station is manned twenty four hours a day. I mean, it's a it's a big operation there out of, out of uh, Grand Haven, right? I mean, works year round. That's correct. It's a twenty four uh, twenty four hour uh, station. They it is manned, and there were uh, several personnel uh, at the station. Now, it was first being investigated, and maybe it still is. My understanding as a as an act of domestic terrorism which you know obviously first blush that's exactly what it sounds like anything you can share with our listeners this morning and tell us about this this suspect this 34 4 year old man i mean uh what was his uh what was his beef with the coast guard what what is his uh situation is he uh stable unstable anything you can tell us steve uh, obviously at first we were investigating those angles uh seeing if there was any link to any type of domestic terrorism we knew that he was a guy from michigan uh, so, I mean, that was our, our first uh, angle. The investigation has not revealed any link at all to uh, terrorism or any terrorist organization. Uh, we believe now that this individual acted on his own, and we're still sifting through his motives and intent and all the things that go along with that. Well, sure. Uh, let me ask you, I mean, uh, have you been in Grand Haven a long time? Three years. Yeah, ever heard of such a thing? And anything in the history, you know, of this this installation ever coming under any sort of uh, an attack of any sort? I've never heard of uh, anything of the sort at all. Um, Grand Haven has a very strong Coast Guard history. Uh, you know, obviously, it's it's Coast Guard City, USA, home right. of the of the annual Coast Guard Festival. So, Coast Guard is is big in Grand Haven. Yeah, yeah, and and it seems like you know. It seems like an odd thing to to attack. I, mean, I don't know what you prove by attacking a uh, a Coast Guard installation. Uh, we're on the line this morning with Jeff Hawk. He is the director of public safety for Grand Haven, where a, a man uh, ran through the gates with his pickup truck yesterday, broke a window, got inside the uh, Coast Guard station, made threats uh, about there being a bomb around. Now, that part didn't turn out to be true. Obviously, that was taken care of. But let, let me ask you this. As you look to, um, uh, pers- obviously, the guy's in custody. He's going to stay in custody. Uh, until this is sorted out, of, of course. But is he facing state or federal charges because it's a, it's a U- United States Coast Guard facility, or is it both, or how is this handled? We're running parallel right now. Uh, if he's going to face state charges today. He could face federal charges. That'll be up to federal prosecutors. We're working with uh, federal, uh, the FBI out of Grand Rapids uh, has agents assigned uh, to the incident, and that'll all be determined as the investigation is completed. I guess the only thing I would ask you beyond that is, is this somebody that you were familiar with, somebody that you've had any uh, contact with previously, or is this guy just totally new, out of left field? Uh, the gentleman is not from Grand Haven. Uh, we were not familiar with him. I'm not sure on 
uh, his criminal history at this point. And that's another thing that we're checking. All right. So maybe sometime later today we'll get an ID and and uh, when you guys have made it to that point in the investigation. Yeah, he's going to be arraigned today uh, in court, and uh, at that point we'll release his name and. Uh, there'll be further information available. And I guess, the, and the, finally, the uh, the Coast Guard uh, installation, everything's back secure, the gates are fixed, everybody's back and up and running normally? Everything is uh, back up. They have resumed full operations. They have a temporary uh, gate, and uh, we were able to accomplish that so quickly, uh, and they were able to accomplish that so quickly because uh, of our friends at the Michigan State Police that we had their bomb squad come out of Lansing and their explosive dog out of Paw Paw. Right. They made an immediate response, uh, cleared the truck, cleared the Coast Guard station because the suspect did make entry into the station, so we didn't know if he had taken something inside with him. Uh, so that all had to be checked and cleared, as well as the Coast Guard sector field office across the street from the station. So there's an administrative office across the street as well. Mm-hmm. So all that was checked. So uh, a big thank you to uh, MSP for their help uh, with the uh, bomb techs and their explosives K-9. Well, a pretty exciting Sunday morning, Jeff, and I'm glad uh, it all worked out, and I'm glad nothing uh, nothing serious has come out from this point. And we'll be following the investigation. Thank you so much for taking the time to be on the program with us this morning. Steve, thank you. Have a great morning. You too. Jeff Hawk, everybody, the director of public safety there in Grand Haven. You know, the guy crashes his pickup truck through the gate and breaks into the building and making bomb threats and so forth. I have no idea what his malfunction was. Well.